Mudrick is going to stretch it out, lads. Look at this. Boom! Double touch. Beautiful, Mudrick. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player review slash training guide. Today we are looking at one of the best wingers that I have used recently in eFootball 2023. It is the free version of Mudrick that you can get with the free four-star nominating contract. Very easy to get. If you are a newcomer to the game and you're looking for a top-class winger, I think this guy is excellent. So let's get straight into it. As I said, he is available for on the new player transfers for the nominating contract. He's only a four-star, so which is really, really good. And look, lads, there's a couple of clips here. We're going to go through in a bit of detail, but I'm working on a video. I'll explain a little bit in a second. But if you have a winger and you're looking to cut inside with a winger and you're looking for blister and pace, you're looking for dribbling, you're looking for tight control, and you're looking to get a lot of chances out wide, Mudrick is one of the best I've played with, right? Now, the big conundrum that you're going to face when you are starting off this game, if you are a newcomer or even if you've been playing a lot of it, V2.4 has changed a lot in terms of what works and what doesn't work. And the big question that a lot of people have that I'm getting asked is whether you're going to use side midfielders or wingers, right? What is the difference? I'm working on a very in-depth video. I've been working on it. There's about 30 hours of research and uh, editing gone into it. So I hope you guys enjoy it because I think it is a very important change that has come with V2.4 as well as the defensive changes, which we'll get into as well. But with Mudrick, right, if you were going for an outright winger, this is what you want him to be able to do. Collecting the ball out wide, stretching your opponent, touching and going. You know, getting a few tricks, getting a few skills, and always having an option when you don't have the ball, and when you do have the ball, incisive passing, incisive dribbling, and really, really good pace. Now, this is the Mudrick that I have. I've changed his training slightly after playing with him because of the changes to V2.4 in terms of his passing and, and shooting and stuff. Um, but you know what you're going to be getting with him. He's just a, a one-trick kind of pony with the dribbling. Um, you know, he's not going to be able to shoot. He's not going to be re really able to pass. So you're not going to be spreading the ball uh, into the box with him from corners. But this is where, where he excels, right? Playing out wide or playing possession or even playing quick counter if you're playing wingers. His, his, um, his on-the-ball dribbling is one of the best that I've used, even above his stats. Like, you know, you can get Dembele, you can get Vinicius Jr., you can get those guys, and they might have better stats, but this guy can do it all and then some. I think he's probably one of the best wingers that I have used, and this is exactly how we have trained him, right? So we're over on eFootball DB. We've got our levels up, and this is how we're going to train him, right? The most important thing to remember in V2.4, right, is the game at the moment is super, super, super chaotic, right? So... In my opinion, don't waste training points on low pass and don't waste training points on, you know, don't just go outright with speed and acceleration. I know it can be the easy thing to do, but what we want with our wingers is we want immediate impact when they come on. Now, Mudrick does have super sub, so that is going to be something that we look at. He also has one touch pass, so we don't need to upgrade his passing that much, still give it a little boost. Um, he also has double touch for the dribbling. So look, we are going to have him as a one-trick pony. We know, and the opponent is going to know what we're going to be doing with him. It's going to be dribbling. It's going to be speed. It's going to be bringing him on as a super sub if he's your backup. He is on D form this week, which is a bit of a pity, obviously, but he will get better. Even on C form, he should be okay to have a couple of games with him. And he's a free player. Now, how he compares to his actual um, standard version, right, which is available for about 18,000 GP, I do think that he trains up quite well. We're going to have very similar stats, obviously, here with the speed, the dribble, and the acceleration. Um, I have used this standard version of him before, and, you know, I just think that this nominating contract version of him is slightly better because he's got better overall stats. But look, I mean, the way that V2.4 is at the moment, you have to be very careful with how you're training players up. I think there's more of a precedence on training players up now than ever before. You know, like nine times out of ten, if you were training players before, you kind of had a one-size-fit-all kind of training method where you had your basics and you had the foundations of what you used to do to train a player. Uh, and then you would just, you know, alter it for your play style. Whereas now I think it matters a little bit more. So, you know, you have to be playing the same play style, um, you know, that you like to play right now. As I'm showing you a couple of more clips here, we're going to see two issues with Mudrick and one solution that is really, really good for this card. Obviously, his stamina is going to take a big hit. And this is why I don't think he'll last past 70 minutes if you are using him a lot. But then you also have the solution of him being one of the best dribblers in the game. So, as I said, right, if you want to get him for free, you only have to play 10 matches on the regular, the free free match pass and you will unlock him after 10 matches you can sim the matches if you are a newcomer and as i said i am working on a defensive uh, guide and tutorial for v2.4 i'm also working on um that out wide video and we're also working on a training a new training uh video as well because 
I see a lot of people still making a lot of mistakes with people's train with people with training up players, and you know you're it's it's just it's pointless because you're not getting the best version of the player for you. At the end of the day, you know you're watching a training guide. You're going to obviously you know play a very specific play style yourself. Some of you might play possession. Some of you might play quick counter. So there's no point training Mudrick up if you're not going to be using him exactly, you know, as he's meant to be used in this specific formation. You know, there are certain players that you could alternate him with and he might not work for you. But if you are looking for a top class out wide winger to stretch opponents, touch and goes, overlaps, always looking for the ball out wide, staying out wide in that position without any advanced instructions on him, um, he is a really, really good winger. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back. Let me know what you think of him. We'll be back quite soon. Peace.